two drunks is not compensated by any beer or alcohol manufacturer. But if you'd like to tweet us at down below, right here, please do. Hello and welcome back to Two Drunks. Hello. Hope you enjoyed our first episode of all the three beers we drank. Hey, hey, wait a minute. Before we really begin, can I point out something? We have lights! You can see me now! Yay! Yay lights! <laughs> I, I'm sorry, you have to see his ugly face. But let's go ahead and get to the beers. We like beers. Yes. How yes. about the, the Sea Dog? The Sea Dog. Okay, the Sea Dog. So the first beer we're going to try tonight is the Sea Dog Wild Blueberry. So, see? Wild Blueberry Sea yep. Dog. Well, 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 where's the big C on it? It's a dog. It has see a the dog. Where's with the C? a C hat on it. Oh, we have an assistant too. <laughs> yeah, he's, he's a little shy. bit hairier than the other, other than our person behind the camera. Down, over, over, no, no, over. There you go. Come on, go extreme close to the camera. He's not very good at his job, <laughs> but he's getting paid in alcohol, so it doesn't really matter. Yeah, he's one of the for it. And I have a bottle opener on a string this time, so. Next, we'll get a uh, bottle opener on a rope. <laughs> it's not like soap on a rope, John. Well, you want to have a beer in the shower? Think about it. And it's gone. <laughs> okay, so it's Blue Sea Dog. Well, it's blue not sea Blue Sea Dog. Wild Blueberry Sea Dog. We've been soup. drinking all day, so we've been having fun. Oh, this is my beer. Yes, this uh -oh. is the beer you got Yay. us. So, this bottle's not as big as the one from last week, so I'm not sure how many of these samples we're going to get out of it. At least we get one out of it. Do you smell the blueberries, John? Yep. Yep. Yo, what? <laughs> okay. Alright, three piece for the Three a piece bottle. for this little bottle. Alright. Hey, Harry Assistant, give that to the camera woman. Oh. Oh, no, no, how about we call him Igor? Igor. You never see his face. He is short Just like a Igor. I don't know if you'd call his hands beautiful, because don't you have, didn't you drill through your thumbnail or something? Just once. Just once. Yeah. Last beer. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Let's taste our beer. Cheers. Cheers. New toast? I don't have a new toast. Do you have a toast? Jam. Jam. There we go. Okay. You can definitely smell the blueberries. Yeah. Not bad. Yeah. Definitely good. Yeah, it's not bad. I'm not a big fan of blueberry ales, but... What's wrong with the blueberry ale? What's the blueberry ale everything to you? They're blue and they're berries. That's because they're blue. Do you have the copyright to that song? No, but I, okay. Sorry, I don't even say the wrong words. What's your point? <laughs> he, he doesn't know what he's doing. I think doing. we're okay. Okay. Yeah, we're no experts at this at whatsoever, so... No. Thanks from the peanut gallery in the back. Yes, we have a somewhat audience, too! Yay! <laughs> Two drunks is filmed in front of a live studio audience today. It, it is tonight. Audience left, but we have these people instead. <laughs> it is tonight, live studio audience, because we've been drinking, so they came for our beer. Yep. Yeah. It's one of the better blueberry ales. I would ask for another one, but we are out. We are out. John liked it. I mean... It, it's, uh, it's smooth, it's light. It's okay. Wait, you're not gonna finish it? And... No. This is mine, John. You're not gonna finish it. Who said I wasn't gonna finish it? And for our next beer of the night, we have Omission. It's a handcrafted lager. Doesn't look like anything like a hand. Yeah, I'm not sure exactly. It's just the Omission. I'm not sure if that's the brand. It just... That's what it says on the bottle. Interesting. And it's a lager, handcrafted, handcrafted lager. So not much description on the bottle. So we'll go and try it from here. Let's see how we like it. Okay. It's Ooh. a clear lager, a light lager. That's unusual. Yeah, it's not dark like a normal, normal lager. Glass. Okay. 
I'm going to give her the bottle on assistant. Uh, we were going to call you Igor. Closer. Closer. Turn the bottle a little bit. Yes. Maybe. To extreme close up to the camera. It's not shy. She's not going to bite. Good. Okay. Great. Oh, Igor right. got me the thought of popcorn in my mouth. Thanks a lot, Igor. It's a very light lager. Yeah, not bad. Yeah, not very bad light. Not bad. I'll see if I can get you guys some popcorn. Yeah, get us popcorn. Yes, Igor. Actually, it's very good. It, it's a very good beer to just drink. I mean, not heavy. Mm -mm. Not too light. Looking at the color, I think it'd be a lot, lot lighter than it would than I would think it would. I be. would actually definitely have this with the snacking stuff. Yeah, good for football. Yes, yeah, definitely good for sports. Definitely. Good for football. Sitting on the couch drinking. Even uh, if, uh, the great beer for this one is if you don't want to drink a whole lot, just a little. I mean, it it doesn't have the high alcohol volume either. It's four point six. So I mean, it's not too too much on alcohol that you couldn't drink. Not like that uh, raw bottles. rot that had like yeah. nine point something. <laughs> yeah. So I mean, it's not high on alcohol. So I mean, it would be a good one just to just to drink. I mean, enjoy nice summer beer. Ugh. Okay. Off to the next beer. Notice that we have this nice. Lovely, what's it called? A uh, uh, it's a mini growler. That's the word I was looking for. Now it's from the uh, brewery company called Eight Ball, and we just visited that today, and we got a little tipsy because we got there. We had the great samplers of everything. Now Igor here bought this. We have never had this beer, so uh, here it is. So it's, it's a red IPA. Let's see. Yes, yeah, I don't want to take all Igor's drink. Ooh, nice color. There you go. Oh, he's letting me pour. I am. I don't really trust him with this. There we go. See, I left Igor some more. <laughs> all right. You have a new nickname for life. Oh, now. sorry. I gotta put this here. Oh, yeah. Igor, please show the camera more. Oh, the nice, beautiful lager. A crawler. Growler. Growler. Mini growler. Mini growler. Go closer. Extreme close up. Down. Over. Left. Turn the bottle. Knife. Thank you, Igor. Oh, this is the red drink. It's, yeah, the red drink, red IPA from 8 Ball. It is 8% alcohol by volume. You're just trying it's to from get Northern to Kentucky. <laughs> if you go to Party Source in Northern Kentucky, it's actually great in place. The place in the in the liquor store. Oh, great place! We'll have to do another video about that place. Okay, okay. cheers. Cheers. Okay. Oh, that's a nice color. Yeah, it definitely has the smell of the IPA. Very hoppy smell. Okay, that's a nice hop. Wow. <laughs> you can tell. Oh. oh, he doesn't like IPAs. I this is this very has good. a nice good hops to it. If you never, if you like hops, you're gonna like this one. It's <laughs> very smooth. Like smooth. Very smooth. 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 Yeah, I go with smooth with more. Most of the other ones. He doesn't like hops. Hops are good. Hops are your friends. Hops like your friends, but not for this. Wow. <laughs> I can't even look at our assistant's face or anybody's face right now because of him. But I'm going to finish this, and he already finished his. It's normal because I'm fat. Ugh. Okay. Yay for guest spots. And now for our next beer, it's the Saranac Prism White Ale. That doesn't look like anything like a rainbow. No, it... Prism... What? You know, Prism, you get little things, you shoot in the light, and the light beams on it like a rainbow. He makes point. Yeah, but no, John. That's you've drank too much. Yeah. Okay. Now this one, I've had this beer before. I it says that. it's a white ale. I consider it a white IPA. It's Why? from um, a brewing company, Saranac Brewing, up in Utica, New York. Oh, did you excuse me? Oh, sorry. <laughs> and so now let's go ahead and get that. Wait, 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 wait. What? Let's go to Igor. So Igor can send it up to there, the full bottle, so they can get the nice experience with the bottle. There. Before we open it, though. I know. 
Where will you get the light and everything? It looks so nice. <laughs> it's a little bright. Okay. 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 And my the person behind the camera, my camera woman, will not like this one. She's had this one before and does not like yeah, it. Nope. You sure this is not a light beer? It's not a light beer. It's a white it ale. It looks like a light beer. It does look like that. So how did I become Igor? Because you're short. I'm curious. Sorry. And just you shamble towards head. the camera and shamble away from the camera. Oh, Igor, would you like a glass? Let's get Igor. He's enjoying his red drink. I know he enjoys his red drink. Oh no, wait a minute. Igor's too proud. He gets bottle. Okay. Igor can have a bottle. Yes. My tortilla plant okay. I am Cheers. not going to like this. I know this. <laughs> this is actually a very good beer. It starts off citrusy, Ooh. but then it ends with the IPA after notes. IPA after notes. Bear, it's oh. a little hoppy. A little? No, it's not. It's a lot. <laughs> it doesn't have much hop. It's a, it's a very good beer. Less, uh, less hoppy than the other thing. See, yeah. <laughs> it, it's, it's good because it, it starts off like a wheat beer. It has that nice wheat beer color, nice wheat beer clarity. It's not too clear like a wheat beer. And then it, it, and it starts and tastes off like that, but then it finishes like an IPA. It has the hoppy afternotes and everything. It's one of my favorite beers, actually. It does not start off good, nor finish like an IPA. Yes, it does. You don't know what you're talking about. It does It is either. Either. Yes, it does. It drinks the, he it drinks those. Does. But I like this one. You don't like it. No. Going down. Always the trooper. Oh. Yeah. Always the trooper. Oh, God. Going down. <laughs> And for the last beer of the night, we have the Full Sail LTD Lager. And this is Just a like Vienna-style lager, as it says. It's from the Full Sail Brewers up in Hood River, Oregon. Okay, so it's, it says recipe number five. It's 5.6 alcohol by volume for a lager, which is pretty good for a lager. Are you gonna shake it up to me? No, don't <laughs> shake it up. Give it to yes. our assistant Igor. Tell him a little No, no, a little more. A little closer. No, 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 no. Stop it. Okay. Igor, come on. This going to be silence. Okay. Thank you, Igor. Give that back, okay? And we open it. As we possibly open it. There we go. Okay. So it says it's a Vienna style lager. I'm not sure yes. what the difference between. Lockers are, but we will find out. It's definitely a dark There's that. Yes, it's a little darker. Definitely has that amber look. Well, it does say, for those who love amber ales, here's a Vienna style lager. So. All right. Top it off. You leave a little bit for Igor? I guess not. He'll <laughs> try that. Okay. Here you go. Pass that around. No one cares about you or. Yes, we do. Please, right now. No up. one cares about the camera woman either. Don't feel bad. We love the camera woman. <laughs> and they're going to try it first. Okay. I'm looking to see their reactions. And yeah. See, they just flipped us off again. Yeah, the, the bird flew the coop right there. So let's, let's try this. You Smells go first. very good. Oh, you go first. Like It's like a little it. heavier than I would expect it to be. Okay. I mean, for the color, nice clear amber color. Okay. It's kind of a toasted. A little heavy. It That's has the, the basic lager smell. You can taste the toasted caramel flavoring mm -hmm. from it. Yeah. Not bad. I probably would have this one more on tap than, than a bottle can. This would be good with steak. No. Burgers. Yes. Beef. It's what's for dinner. But yeah, this would be a good din dinner beer. Something you drink with dinner. Yes, Igor. Stop the swinging. I don't know if you can taste it. You can't. 
That's because you've been drinking that stuff. <laughs> yeah, you've been drinking darker yeah. IP. Right? Remember, IP. like I said before, light to dark, not dark to light. The darker the beer, the more the lighter beer tastes like water. You gotta have the hoppiness. Hey, this one, I, I enjoy not this one. Bad. I mean, it's for it. I thought it was gonna be like the where her reaction was. Yeah. It was priceless. <laughs> well, let's finish these. Here, John. Okay. Okay. Now, John, let's pick the, which beer do you like better out of the five beers we've tried tonight? Which beer did you like the better? Let's see. I'm going to go with the. Um, oh, I got two. See, I got. I like this one. That was the last one. This one. I have to go with the Sea uh, Dog. Very nice. Um, great for if you're not liking uh, heavy tasting beers or anything, if you like the ciders and stuff like that, this is the great one for you. Uh, definitely the blueberry stuff for this. Mmm, I mean, no, no, no. I know you didn't care much for it. I'm actually going to go with the Omission. It was very light, yeah. not too bad to drink, great for watching like footballs and going out and doing stuff with. It, I mean, it's not going to be one that you're going to like you're going to be able to drink more of these. It, I mean, if you take a six-pack, I could drink a whole six-pack of this and be fine. I mean, it's not going to fill you up. It has the great taste. Um, it's well, light. It's so it, it's it's what I would drink for the night. Now, for our next uh, video, please put the comments below what uh, beers would you like to us for to try. And please, subscribe to us.